Welcome back to The Bank Guide. I'm your bank guy, Colin, and today is another video in the 5-Minute Logic Expert series where I'm bringing you 30 tips and tricks for recording, mixing, and mastering in Logic in 30 days. A video every single day this November. It's kind of crazy, but we're over halfway. I'm enjoying it, and I hope you are too. And today, we are looking at muting regions. This is something that's really cool, especially in like the songwriting, recording, arranging part of the process. When you've recorded something and you want to try it without it in, but you don't want to delete it altogether, and you don't want to like auto mute on and off or create a whole extra track or any of that stuff, you can just mute an individual region while everything else on that same track is still going to play. This is something you can't do in GarageBand and they open it up in Logic and it's something that I use honestly all the time. So let's jump into a session and see what I'm talking about. So within your song, you have tracks and then within your individual tracks, you have what are called regions. So each of these are a region and this could be MIDI or audio. Here we're looking at audio regions, but it works with both. And a cool thing is, let's say I want to have these guitar parts here, but I want to mute these guitar parts, but I don't want to delete them. I might want to bring them back in the future. So I just want to try it without them. Well, I can mute them by holding control on the keyboard and just hitting M. You could also do this with the mute tool. If we find that here, then I could just click on this while I'm holding command. And that's just going to mute or unmute the regions that I've selected there. Or if I want to come over here and just select these regions, it's going to mute whatever regions that I click on uh, with the tool engaged. So it's really cool. And you can see how when you're thinking about arranging a song and trying out different parts, ways that you might use it. So for example, right now we're working on the vocal arranging. We have a lot of vocals in the song and I'm still in the early parts of getting it cleaned up and organized and all that stuff. But one thing that I'm doing and one thing that uh, Philip, who recorded this, the singer from my band Broke Royals, uh, that he and his wife, who are the two vocals on the song, they did while they were recording was they recorded a pass of something, but they would mute certain parts of it because they were like, well, I, I went ahead and got myself singing that, but I'm not sure that we're going to use it. So this song is kind of a duet. It's really a, a female lead song. And there's times where we're playing around with him singing a double on it or kind of singing a backup with her. And because of this mute region function, we can keep this track where we know at the end his vocals are going to come in. But in this section, we can try with them just muted. And you can get even more specific. You can see here at times he played with, well, let me just have one phrase unmuted and then I'll mute the second phrase. So this chorus has this one look and then I'm running line. One look and I'm running. One look and I'm running. One look and I'm running. So one thing that he played around with and that we're going to continue playing around with here is muting and unmuting within that phrase. One look. One look. And we can play around with that without losing all the different sections. And I can just quickly unmute those if I decide I want them back in the future. So you could do this all over your session as you try out things, get a pass of something, but then mute it if you're not sure that you want it or if you want to start without it in and maybe add it in later if you think you want it. Uh, it's just a really cool tool that, again, you don't have in GarageBand. It really helps with this arranging and writing. Um, personally, once I've decided on something, I'm on the camp that I delete my muted regions because I don't want to see them there. But if things are maybe up in the air and we think maybe we'll bring it back in later, you know, in the third or fourth mix of this song, then I'll leave them muted and it's as if they're not there, but I could always bring them back later. So I'm just kind of... Uh, anal about keeping my sessions really, really clean and tidy. Doesn't look like it right now as we're looking at this, but hopefully this is helpful. I love mute regions. I think they're a powerful tool in the songwriting recording phase, as I said. Now, if this is the first video of mine that you've seen or you just haven't downloaded it already, be sure to download my six-step checklist to a pro mix. I put together a six-step checklist that goes through the six steps that all professional mixes have and how you can do it specifically in Logic. It's completely free from the link in the description below. If you haven't already downloaded it and you've seen other videos, get it now. I promise it's going to be worth it and it's free. So grab it from the link in the description below. Before you go, I'd love to hear from you. Did you know about muting regions and do you use them kind of differently than the way that I showed here? Let me know in the comments below. If this video was helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another 5-Minute Logic Expert. One thing